What is going on guys? Today is the 4th of July and we are 11 days out. Well guys, it is official. We are at our lowest weight of all the prep, 172.6. I feel like a light little bitch. Well, people, it is about 7.15. So in all seriousness, 172.6 is super low for me. I haven't been 172.6 in maybe like two years. Like that is super low. I didn't even think I would get this low. Honestly, I was hoping I wasn't gonna get this low, but that's where we're at. So we are 172.6, just literally 11 days out from summer shredding. So how do I feel 11 days out? I have had really low days, some days where I was about to break. Days where I, I, I mean, I was in the gym with Kyle like literally three days ago, and I was like, dude, do you think I'm gonna be competitive at this show? Like, I, I just don't see it. And there are days where I am high and days that I am low. Today, I feel good. That is a miracle, because we have been on very, very low carbs. Training days, 75 grams of carbs. Rest days, zero grams of carbs. And my high day is just really not that high. Today, we have legs. The gym closes at two o'clock. It's already 7.30 and I gotta go do some cardio. So we're gonna head over to the gym right now. I'm gonna take some pre, cause why not? Get 50 minutes of cardio and 10 minutes of abs in and then get a couple meals in before we hit some legs. Today's gonna be a good day. We gotta push, man. We gotta push right now. We are only 11 days out. 11, just 11 days. That's it. Land the plane. Let's go to the gym. minutes done let's go home and eat all right guys so we have meal number one here this is a daily greens from revive i also have my kidney glucose digest aid my pill case, I'll be popping these pills with meal one. 275 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs, sunny side up, because I love the yolk. I love the yolk. And then we have 100 grams of shredded lettuce, which we are going to put this, if you guys haven't had this, Southwest mustard. This shit is fire. Shout out Gio Rabinoth, who put me onto this. I'm sure I'm gonna have to take this out within the next couple days as we get closer and closer to the show. But boy, has it made these meals that much better. And you know we're using ketchup because ketchup is life. Shout out Seabum, because I am Zebum. So we're gonna get this meal down. It's like 9.15 and I will have to eat again in two hours so that I can train around 12.15 and get my session in before the gym closes. We are eating literally 75 grams of carbs today, 50 pre and 25 post. I love eating and this meal is tiny, but I look forward to it every single morning. Oh boy, do I miss oats and toast. Oh boy, do I miss toast, man. So we're gonna go over to tan because we gotta get a nice base layer on before we go put a tan on for real. We got the Seafoam Raw shirt on, that simple raw, it's a big R in the back. And then I got my Jordan mints on. So we fit it, let's go tan. All right, so I only have a couple hours until the gym closes. I have to make this trip quick. We are gonna go get tan, run to Trader Joe's, and then I gotta get my pre-workout meal down, go train, and do 20 minutes of cardio. Oh, the prep life. Oh, it is just so sweet. 
We love it. We love every bit of it. So the tanning place is closed for 4th of July. We're going straight to the grocery store, pick up a couple essentials at Trader Joe's. Bro, if you have not had these milk chocolate Reese's cups or peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's, milk chocolate or dark chocolate, these are fire. Less than $100 spent at Trader Joe's on nothing but meat, fruit, and vegetables. I call it a W, kind of, because it's just meat, fruit, and vegetables. All right, so it's time to go home, eat my cream of rice, and go train these damn legs with whatever energy I have left, which is not much. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. It is cream of rice time, baby. We have the Ithalit Protein Birthday Cake. And I'm so excited to eat, baby. We're gonna get this down and go train legs in about 60 minutes. Oh, it feels like my birthday. Yeah! Minutes cardio done, legs taking a failure, gym taking a failure, they're closing the place. I got to train with Pat Davidson, which was pretty sick. Now I gotta go take some meals to failure. Let's go home. All right guys, so we are back from the gym and I just cooked up meal number three of the day. We got a post-workout meal literally 170 grams of chicken, 90 grams of jasmine rice, and I got some of this Southwest mustard on here, which I don't know how many times I can plug this thing. This is absolutely amazing from Walmart. So this couch has got my name all over it, and I will not be leaving that today. I will be in that corner for the entire rest of the day, and that's how I'll spend this 4th of July, but I gotta get this meal down because I am starving. guys so part of my job is that i have to be doing continuing ed basically every single year until i die so when you're registered and you have a job in finance they will have these finpro continuing eds that you have to get done since this is my fourth of july plans i'm just chilling eating my meals prepping i'm gonna bang them out and that's just gonna help me pass the time between meals but it is time to eat so let's eat All right, so meal number four of the day is gonna be this Southwest chicken and lettuce bowl. So this is literally like zero carb, except for maybe from the mustard, which is trace, and then buttered lettuce and 170 grams of chicken. That's where we're at with dieting. Almost entirely 
protein and veggie. It can be done with a bit of flavor. That Southwest mustard is absolutely fire. Second time I'm using it today. And I'm, I'm excited to eat, man. Food, man. It's got a death grip on me. I'm gonna watch some Netflix, I think. Yeah, we're gonna watch some Netflix and eat this meal. Cause there's really not much else to do other than enjoy every last bit of food I got. All right guys, so I just meal prepped for the entire week. I have chicken breast, I have 90 and 96 ground beef in here. I have zucchini noodles, which is great for volume and just flavor. And then I have some raw shrimp here that I cooked up. And so now I'm about to make up my meal number five. I get 100 grams of zucchini noodle and I get 170 grams to six ounces of shrimp. Bone apple teeth. So it was really simple, it literally took me like an hour and a half to cook all this and what you have to remember is that if you are going to be on prep, you don't have all that much time because you spend most of your time on a cardio machine and training and then you probably have a normal job like me. You gotta have everything prepped up for the week. So 90 minutes, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not special, I'm a little special, but I'm not that special. You could do it too. I have everything cooked up for the week. I can make little containers for every day that I need it and it's just in bulk and honestly, I end up like getting through all of it because I'm eating so much protein and not that much rice. So the rice cooker is getting very little usage, but the air fryer and the stove are getting a ton of usage. Want to consolidate all that effort, put it all into one day, get it done. I'm hungry, so we got to delete this meal first. Also, if you guys have not tried this Jihoo's sugar-free Thai chili wing sauce, that smacks on shrimp. Smacks. Just a little bit now. Let's dig in. All right guys, we are on to the last meal of the day. We have one of the beef patties that I cooked earlier with some banana peppers and 150 grams of shredded butter lettuce. And behind me, we're gonna put some no sugar added ketchup, some yellow mustard, because low cow man, we are just approaching 10 days out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna eat up this last meal and me and Yvonne are actually gonna get on and plan some travel plans, some travel plans for the next couple months. So when prep is over, just know we got some exciting stuff happening. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for all the support. Code Zan on raw nutrition and revived supplements. Save you guys some money, get the best quality supplements in the world. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.